need to play some music. Vera tacos. If I didn't say it right, my bad. My intro just be so hard. So we about to just dive into the cooking because that's what y'all here for. Now the first thing that we need to do is actually put the meat, onions, and garlic in water and beef broth into a pot. We're gonna put that on boil and then let that simmer for about two hours. The second part we're about to do is start the I don't know if I'm gonna say this right, but consomme, I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry again if I'm saying it wrong, but that's gonna pretty much have our tomatoes, onions, garlic, our peppers, and that is gonna sit and boil. Let's just get started. So here's the beef short ribs. Here's beef chunk. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. Whole white onion. A whole clove of garlic. So this is everything. Now I'm gonna add some beef broth. I'm gonna save a little bit. Now I'm going to fill the rest of the pot up with water and then put it to a boil. I'm going to add salt. This is pink Himalayan salt, my preferred choice. I'm using two big scoops. Just kind of pushing the salt into the actual water and beef broth so I can make sure it's flavoring everything. Now we're gonna just cover this up with foil until it gets to a boil. So the consomme is gonna start out with, I'm gonna show y'all, the pasilla peppers, bomb. These ones smell so good. Oh my God, like literally you can smell it through the packaging. I'm gonna add Sereno peppers to just add some spice to it because both of those are mild and this one is a medium. Roma tomatoes, garlic, duh. Onion again. I'm just gonna add water and let this get to a boil. Here's everything in the pot. I'm going to add the rest of the beef broth. And now water. I'm gonna turn this up to a boil, it's on 10. We can see the meat is already starting to cook. So you can see the meat is brown. Uh, you can tell the onions are kind of cooking down. The garlic takes longer to cook down, but it smells so good already and I haven't even added any seasoning yet. And I've lowered it down to a four, so I'm just gonna let this cook for like another hour and a half and then we'll be adding more seasoning. So now I'm just gonna get some of my toppings ready for the food and let's talk. So pretty much what's new with me is I just moved into this beautiful apartment and I'm so excited about it. Um, I've been really wanting to start up my YouTube again, but I wanted to wait till I got to my new place because like why am I gonna record videos in like my little crusty apartment when I could be recording videos in here, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'm hella excited about my new place. It's so beautiful, um, so much light, so much space, and the kitchen is so big and bomb. So it's just really a kitchen made for like a chef, AKA your girl. 
I'm gonna do an apartment tour for you guys. I'm just waiting for like some more stuff to come in. I didn't really like buy a bunch of new stuff for the place, but I definitely got more stuff to fill in the space cause it's just bigger. And just kind of wanted to update a little bit more. I wanna go for more of a modern look, you know what I'm saying? So just a little touches here and there, nothing too major. But other than that, I'm just also super excited to just be in a space where I feel motivated and it's inspired. Yeah, as far as content goes, like I'm just hella excited to really start consistently posting my outfits, getting my looks together, like making videos for you guys. And just like, honestly, I just really genuinely enjoy doing it. So it's not like it takes like a whole lot or I'm just really trying to do it because everybody's doing it. It's like, I really genuinely like doing it. Like I said, tying back into like my move, it's like when you feel good and you love your space and your place and like where you're at and where you're going, you can see that energy in the content pretty much that you're gonna put out. And by content, it's like, it doesn't mean like for necessarily influencers, but it's just like, all of us use Instagram, all of us have something to share. And it's like, when you're doing good, you feeling good, you waking up to a good space and area, your aura and your energy is all on point. You can just see that your energy and your aura is not something that people can just buy. It's not something that you just, try to get it's just a piece inside yourself that you have to have and the things around you are gonna always play a part in that it doesn't matter i just have a lot of like optimism for this year i know it's had its ups and downs but i feel like the clarity that i've gained from this year honestly has put me and set me up for has put me and set me up for a lot of blessings to come and uh, just a lot of self-evaluation. But y'all, I cannot wait to do my apartment tour because honestly, y'all, I really just love my space. I just love this new space, this new energy. Like, I'm just so excited just for life. And I'm just really excited for 2021. And it's crazy because I swear to you, I swear, I swear. So in 2019, I kept saying that 2020 is going to be a rebuilding year and that 2021 is going to be that year. And I swear, I really kept telling this to everybody. And it's just crazy because I really just genuinely feel like that's how it's panning out. And I'm just really ready for 2021. And the crazy part is, is that this year just went by so freaking fast that it's dead ass about to be fucking 2021. Look how cute my toppings are, y'all. Hold up, y'all. I'm about to post a pic from yesterday. I just feel like 2021 is really a year I've really manifested. And even when it comes to that, like people, like you're gonna get out of the world what you put into the world. So it's like, you just got people that you just got people that like, if you haven't been building up this entire 2020, like why don't expect to see the fruits of any labor in 2021 when you didn't put the labor in, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put the work in for the things that you want. I mean, we can talk about why. One, the song is heat. The censored version wasn't it for me, but the explicit version is heat, fire. Their verses are fire. So everybody hating on it, like, you're just a hater. Two, the video was one of the best videos this year, if not the best videos this year. And then side note, like everybody hating on Kylie for being in the video is just doing too much for me because one, Kylie didn't buy the video and just put herself in the video, you know what I'm saying? Like obviously, Cardi and Meg wanted Kylie to be in the video. For everybody to be so worried about what someone wanted in their own project is just weird to me. Like she was invited to it, they wanted her there, so why are you guys mad about it? But anyways, the song is just so fire and it just really cracks me up. My bad. It just really cracks me up because 
People are really like pressed about it. Like all these guys rappers are literally talking about like girls 24 seven, having sex with girls 24 seven, going to the clubs, going to strip clubs, doing this, doing that, like, but y'all not pressed, but like girls talk about themselves and their own bodies, there's a problem. Like it's just crazy that y'all don't have a problem with someone else, about men talking about women's bodies but when a woman talks about her own body that she knows that is her own temple y'all got a problem with it like it's just it's just so funny to me y'all so people can just be so backwards on like how they think and i don't get it but at the end of the day let them do them like i just feel like people are just way too in other people's business and too nitpicky about what someone else is doing like song go off so if you're mad about it go be mad by yourself because nobody else is on the mad train with you, baby. You on your own with that. Oh, you look cute, baby. You look cute. Thanks. Don't. He stay trying to eat stuff while I'm cooking. Like, I know he's looking at his cheese right now, and he wants to eat it. I mean, but look. She got all this cheese. I mean, do she really need all of it? I need all of it. What else you got going on? What is this? We got some beef stew, some peppers. We got some steak, garlic, onions, water, chicken broth, bone broth, turkey neck broth, <laughs> all that stuff. Hi YouTube. Welcome to my channel. You know, I'm about to get busy in the kitchen, you know, do all that stuff. Just kidding, we're not gonna do that yet. Damn, you all the way down here. I know, you look so tall and cute. Mm -hmm. Go but yeah, talk about your wow. Not your wow specifically, <laughs> but wow. The song. You like it, right, baby? Yeah, it's a great song. The See? video's fire. The song is good. This is a king, y'all. So get you one. All right. So pretty much, I'm done with the toppings. So I'm gonna put this to the side and get all the seasoning in a bowl and show you guys what I'm gonna use to season, and then put it inside. Is it consomme? Is that the word, baby? Yeah, it beats me. He's like the worst Spanish person I ever met in my life. <laughs> oh, the phone man, see, see. It's a, it's a, it's a phone man. Finding the right way to express. Now we're gonna put all of our seasoning in the bowl, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have whole peppercorns. Now we're gonna put whole cloves, cinnamon, cumin seeds, whole oregano, garlic powder. Now the garlic powder isn't in the actual recipe, but like, how are you about to cook with no garlic powder? And then, I have some fresh thyme. So we just watched, um, we didn't finish it all the way, but we started watching The Last Dance. Yes. And the thing that gets me is just like, I just feel like there's been a lot of outside, I mean, there are some highlights to basketball, and I get that we're in a bubble, but I feel like even the last few years, Basketball hasn't been as exciting as Hardly. it used to be. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I, I'm relatively a newer basketball fan, I would say. I, but even going back, the, the level of intensity, the, the like built-up rivalries, is something I feel like we don't see really today in sports. You don't see that. Like, I would have loved to, yeah, I was going to say, I would have loved to see the Pistons and Bulls play. Right, for sure. I've been a, I'm like more of a, like a professional sports watcher. Like, I like the NFL. I like the NBA. Like, yeah. I watch more professional, but I think I'm going to start watching college more because, honestly, it's just not as exciting. I can see that, but I think the big aspect of college sports is the, is the fan base in which like the, the six man or the crowd really kind of like I mean I've only been to a handful of college football games but I mean, we went to one together even yeah. the the Rose Bowl. Yeah. And that was nuts and that wasn't even a close game. But the Alabama fans, they're different. Yeah. Well freaking tied. I think the, the, the best rivalry matchup, which I don't feel like a lot of people talk about it or maybe because uh, we're on the East Coast, and these are both West Coast teams. But the 49ers and Seahawks, both. both oh, all, that, on all, the West Coast, yeah. it goes crazy. Yeah, all three games this year were were, were nuts. You know, one goes, the first game goes into to overtime, I believe. The first game of the season, bro, it was at home for the uh, 49ers. Crazy, crazy game. Oh, I was literally. Yeah, it went to overtime. Yeah, it went into overtime, and it was over there, and they won. Yeah, and then um... Side note, if we want to get into it and really spill the tea, 
The Seahawks should have won the at home against the 49ers, but we're not going to talk about the refs in that BS call, okay? Because we definitely had it in our bag. For sure. 100%. Hey, Daddy. Hi, for sure. Paul, man. What's up? Um, say hi. Hey. What's up, little? <laughs> Irish Ray Paul and Damn, you really gonna say her government like that? I know. <laughs> Crazy. What, baby? You put my, you put, you said my government name out here like that? <laughs> man, I'm a, I'm a caveman. I don't know what's going on. These guys are really pulling my coat. Like, put me on, on gas. I don't know. I've been gone for years. I'm dead. I'm sure what? I'm dead. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. What's, what's going on though? I'm still back in the 90s. Okay, so now as you can see, I have it down to a simmer. You can tell by like the color of the, how dark the broth is that these peppers definitely cooked down in here, which is good. Um, these, everything is just cooked down. It smells hella bomb. So now, here's the seasoning all together. We're about to just throw it all in this pot. All right, so everything's just been cooking for the last few hours. So now what I'm gonna do is, this is the peppers and all the seasoning and tomatoes and garlic and all the flavor is in here. I'm gonna start splitting it into my food processor and then put it into my main pot. It smells so good. So now it's kind of like a chili paste. We're just going to dump it into our main pot. Now I'm going to take a chunk of cilantro and throw this in the pot. Get some whole bay leaves, adobo. So now I'm gonna let this get to a boil, bring it back down to a simmer, let it soak up all of the extra seasoning and like the chili paste that we made. And pretty much, we're almost done. So this is all the meat, as you guys can see, these are the beef short ribs. Then this big one on the bottom is gonna be the beef chunk. This bone is like completely empty, like that's how tender this meat is. All right, y'all, so we're going to start actually making them now. So you're gonna take a tortilla. You're gonna dip it into the broth. Put it on the plate. Get some cheese. Layer it on the entire tortilla. Now, get some meat and we're going to put it on half of the tortilla. Add a little bit more cheese. Then we're gonna fold it in half and press it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do another one. And then while it's hot, we want to sprinkle a little bit of adobo onto the actual tortilla shell. Here we are. Crispiness. And look guys, it's done and it looks so good. Fire. All right guys. So good. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys try this at home. The recipe is super easy. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.